Martini for a few years now and um, I think that they're the best brand in terms of being able to incorporate the fit of the female body but also performance so there's no compromise um, on performance when it comes to the female fit as well which is quite unique I think. For me the Santini uh, fits really nice. Um, yeah I think we, we add some things if it's too wide or not comfortable we, we tell it to Santini and, uh, and uh, yeah after some years now we have the clothing uh, which fit really well. When we design something for, for women, we always uh, try to keep the same product that uh, we give men. Uh, that means that we don't, if, if a product for men is perfect, we try to use the same exact uh, materials and features. Of course, uh, what's important to change is the fit. The female body is different, we know it very well, and of course we need to adapt uh, to, to the, the, body, uh, the body of, uh, of the girls, uh, that specific product. But we want it to be exactly as good as uh, the men's ones. Um, so our waists are much smaller than men's. Um, it means that we need the fabric along the back to be longer because it ruches into the middle of the waist. Um, our arms are typically a little bit smaller and our shoulders are smaller, so um, you know, if you used a men's jersey for instance, you'd often have this bagginess over the shoulders, which is obviously not aerodynamic. So, Yeah, I think uh, the big difference from Fontini is they have female and male um, uh, chemise, so uh, it's really made for a woman. Um, I, like Things we would like to adjust on the chemise, they to take really seriously, so they make, uh, that's the biggest difference I think, they really listen to the riders and they, yeah, they work with the information we gave them, give them. We try to create something that looks good, feels good, but is as technical as a men's cut. Uh, so, same thing from materials to the paddings, of course, in, also in the case of the paddings for girls, uh, uh, we need to adapt a lot the, the shape because of course so when I mean normally women are smaller and we need to have a smaller uh, padding area but the construction is made with the same materials with the same fabrics uh, with the same gels and foams and so on only adapted to the female body. Uh, it's really, really important. I am a writer myself so I know exactly what it means uh, when you are wearing something that is not cut for you and you don't feel right. So we take a lot of time and effort to, to make it right. We changed the, the shorts, like the bends of the shorts. And I think after some years now we have clothing, uh, yeah, which we are really happy with and it fits nice. So uh, um, yeah, they listen very well to, to how we would like to have it and, uh, and develop also very well every year again. As for the men's team, I think that uh, the professional or world tour female teams uh, are a very good mirror for us, uh, a very good image to show uh, to the public what we can do. Uh, and, and of course, uh, as for the men's, uh, also with the girls, uh, they are a very good uh, test on all our products. And so if we do something that is not correct, uh, they will be the first one to tell us uh, to tell us if it's not good, how to change it, how to improve it. So uh, it is very, very important. Besides that, uh, I think that it's important also for us uh, to back uh, women cycling. Uh, this is a company of women. Uh, the, it's owned by me and my sister, two, two ladies. Uh, most of the people in the companies are women. Uh, so we strongly believe that uh, we need to do everything possible to help uh, women cycling to grow.